Hey guys, today we will do a very short 15 minutes flow with all the essential things that you need. I usually do most of this every day. So come to your palms and knees, spread your fingers, and then start with your cat cow first arching the spine, rolling the shoulders back, looking forward. Exhaling, pressing through your palms, rounding your spine. Inhale to your cow pose. Try to roll the shoulders first towards your ears and then you can push the shoulder blades down towards your hips, keeping your body engaged. Exhale, release or rather press, squeeze the belly in. Inhale, open your chest, your collarbones and exhale round especially through the low back so really squeezing those hips down and pushing the belly in relaxing your head inhale open maybe even looking up and exhale press and round Inhale for two more. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. From here, let's take the puppy pose. Walk your hands forward as wide as your shoulders and go very long. And already now, uh, as you are uh, opening your shoulders you should feel a little bit stretchy if you have closed shoulders like I do so first keep pointing the sitting bones back behind you your core your belly pressing in and you're walking the fingertips as far as possible relax your head the ears been between your upper arms and only after you inhale and you stretch long from your sitting bones to your fingertips then you exhale and drop the chest down the forehead on the mat or maybe the chin on the mat and keep breathing there for at least five breaths try to keep your elbows long not bent Maybe you think on your fingertips if that helps you to uh, have your shoulders a little bit more open. And then imagining that you are pushing your chest down through your shoulder blades. So the shoulder blade is the place where you want to push and squeeze last breath inhale relax your face and exhale sitting bones back and press through your fingertips round a little bit and then walk the palms underneath your shoulders one more round of cat cow open the chest as you inhale and exhale round for your cat pose then step the right leg forward and drop the left knee down inhale slowly lift to your low lunge or anjanasa now you can grab your hips from the sides pressing through the front foot front heel down and also keeping the back toes tucked and almost as if you uh, wanted to lift the back knee so really trying to have a lot of weight on the back toes from here come in towards your core and squeeze it in even pressing the belly away from the front thigh and exhale squeeze the elbows reach the chest up and push the hips down and forward but actively through the legs inhale and exhale inhale reach your arms up 
keep your belly squeezing in and exhale the right elbow comes to your right thigh side bend to the left feeling the stretch from the inside of your left hips closing your left triceps towards your face inhale reach both arms up exhale palms down all right your fingertips down flex the right foot in the ankle and then press the hips back for your half splits or at the Hanuman inhale forward bend the front knee exhale lean back again feeling the right hamstrings flexing maybe even doing a few circles with your right uh, ankle and inhale come forward bending the right knee palms down step the right leg back drop the knees from here we will go for a half chaturanga so make sure that your fingers are spread turn them a little bit outside and walk the knees just five centimeters back keep your toes tucked and then first round your upper body and start leaning forward so because your fingers are turned a little bit to the sides it helps you to really lean a little bit more uh, safely bending the wrists from the inside and not from the outside and then you keep squeezing the elbows in start opening your core bones and then bending the elbows but rather imagine that you want to lean forward with your chest your shoulders pressing away from your ears and come halfway then press up and repeat for two more inhale lean exhale bend get your core your butt press up and exhale again last one press up into your tabletop tuck your tuck your toes and press the hips up and back into the down dog in your down dog you can bend the knees one at a time or both maybe even side bending on your right side and then on the left inhale move the feet a little bit more back and start bringing your heels up rolling your spine all the way in towards your plank position and exhale bend the knees stick the sitting bones up open the chest come back towards your down dog inhale heels up point the sitting bones down squeeze the belly round your way forward your plank and exhale bend the knees sitting bones up look forward open the collarbones and press back one more inhale forward like a wave exhale back like the opposite way and bring the left leg forward sitting the back knee down reach your arms up and exhale palms to your hips again press through your front leg back toes belly in inhale the chest up squeeze the elbows exhale start leaning your hips forward and down keeping your belly really away from your front thigh again maybe even looking up if you want and then inhaling coming straight in your spine reaching your arms up exhale left elbow onto your left thigh and start reaching higher with your right hand and then leaning to the side try to keep the chest open towards the ceiling inhale and exhale fingertips to the ground framing your front foot flex the left foot inhale first open your chest and exhale lean your hips back just as much as they end up over your right knee inhale forward bend the left knee 
exhale back and one more inhale and exhale leaning back trying to keep pressing through your left heel down and coming back forward palms down step the left leg back inhale here full chaturanga or half with the knees down if you want squeeze the fingertips into the mat bending the elbows start opening the collarbones as you come halfway and then press up inhale and exhale knees down elbows down hips down towards your heels and then start slowly slithering or trying to slide your chest on the mat as you put your belly down you lift your chest press the foot down for cobra exhale release the forehead on the mat inhale lift the head the shoulders the chest and exhale release try not to use your palms too much inhale mostly your upper back is working to lift the chest very high and exhale tuck your toes squeeze your belly your glutes squeeze the elbows in towards the midline and then press up through your plank or tabletop and into your down dog relax your head in your down dog try to press your shoulders very long rotating your triceps towards each other and underneath of you begin inhale through your nose exhale the right leg lifts all the way up three leg down dog exhale step the right leg forward set the back knee again on the mat reach your arms up exhale bring the palms to your chest twist to the right side your left elbow from the outside of your right knee try to keep also pressing the knee into that elbow and then press through the palms make your forearms uh, one line and then twist all the way to the back as much as you're twisting through your uh, whole body to your spine don't allow your left your right hip come up and twist your legs so try to keep pressing the hips down and more twisting from the upper back upper part of your spine inhale so your left toes are tucked and try to lift your left knee and keep the hips very low your belly in inhale open the arms and tuck your elbow from the knee and then bring your right fingers on the back of your left thigh right arm comes up and exhale lean a little bit back with strong legs here and then come back both palms down inhale the chest forward and exhale lean your hips back to a pyramid pose you can flex the front foot try to bring the back heel away from the ground one more inhale exhale palms down step the right leg into your down dog just switch the sides left leg comes up exhale step it forward from the inside of your left thumb left palm right knee on the mat reach your arms up inhale and exhale slowly bring the palms to your chest twisting towards your left leaning forward and bringing the elbow in from the outside of your knee and try to press into it that it allows you to twist again if your left hip lifted 
<laughs> bring you down. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze the belly. Tuck your back toes if you don't have that. Try to bring your, bring your back knee up. But still keep twisting, keeping your balance by squeezing the legs together. Inhale, open the arms. Lift your chest higher. Exhale, left fingertips to the back of your right leg. Right arm comes up, look forward. And exhale, just a slight back bend with the support of your left hand. Both palms down. Step the left leg back. Ah, sorry, no, pyramid pose. So <laughs> back knee stays away. Inhale, open the chest, bend the left knee. And exhale, flex the left foot as you lean your hips back, straightening maybe your left knee. Stay for one more breath. And exhale. And place the palms down. Step the left leg back. Sit your knees or bring your knees down towards the ground. Sit your hips onto your heels with your toes tucked. And find a few breaths here. I really enjoy this one because although it's just a slight stretch on your toes, it it's very intense and it feels good after some time, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Try to relax your jaw, your face. Open the arms to the side and exhale the right arm underneath the left. Cross the arms, create eagle arms, pressing the palms together or the backs of the palms. Inhale, reach the elbows up and exhale, bring the elbows in towards your chest. Squeeze them in. Inhale, so keep pressing the elbows in towards each other as you lift them, lift them, lift them, lift them. And exhale, bring them in. We will change. Open the arms to the sides. Exhale, the left underneath the right. Interlace. Palms squeezing towards each other. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze them in and down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. And release. Release your toes. Leaning forward. And then point your toes. So really squeeze your toes towards the sole of your foot. Sit back, fingertips on the mat, a little bit forward, also leaning with your upper body a little bit forward and then try to bring your knees up. And then back, one more knees up, feeling the stretch on your front, uh, on the top of your foot and then back. Then move your wrists a little bit, your fingers making fists and then opening. And cross the shins and slide them forward. So bring the right shin in front of the left one. And flex the ankles a lot. Reach your arms up. And exhale, bend the right elbow, grab it with your left palm and try to press it a little bit higher. If you won't go for that gumkasana or cow face, grabbing your fingertips with your left hand from below. Maybe you, if you want, you can inhale and you can fold over the legs, pressing the feet down. And then coming up, inhale and changing. So again, Bring the left shin in front of the right. Left arm comes up, bend the elbow. And you can even either press it up with using your right hand, reaching your left fingers down. And you can stay here or 
and you can use your right hand from below with the palm facing away from you walking it up your spine grabbing the fingers and wherever you are inhale either stay if this is enough for your hips or lean forward and fold for one breath say inhale exhale inhale come up and release okay that's it for today i hope you liked it and yeah that's something that i like to do to open and move my shoulders my hips my toes my fingers my hands and the whole spine using those spinal rolls that we did at the beginning so this is something that you can take towards your own practice so even if you're not using video uh, think about the major joints that you have mostly the shoulders the hips and the spine and try to move them in any kind of uh, way you know so it doesn't have to be a yoga pose it doesn't have to have a sanskrit name it can be whatever and yeah that's your practice it can be whatever you want it to be as far as it feels good and it brings you something you explore new maybe range of motion or you just re-explore the old one that you already know that you have but you know that that stretch feels good i wish you to have a nice day or night or whatever the time you are watching it now and see you in the next one.